Well, thank you guys for tuning in to Chicago Prayer and Hope, where we pray for you all because we believe in the power of prayer, because we're praying the true and living God of the universe, who hears the prayers and who answers them all in his imperfect timing, because his timing is perfect and his timing will always be perfect. Amen. Amen. And also, where we share the good news of Jesus Christ, right out of this true and active living word of God, which brings the free gift of salvation to you all if you believe by faith alone and if you repent of your sins and if you do all that, it offers you the best gift of all which you can ever receive, which is eternal life with Jesus Christ forever in his presence when you die. Amen. Amen. We praise God for this truth. Praise God for this hope. God is good. God is alive. And we have a reason to live. Amen. You better believe it. Today I want to do things a little bit differently, friends. We're going to be in Hebrews 12, verse 1 to 3. I just want to give you the option, like I've done it before, um, to close your eyes, just get into a position where you can receive it. Whether it's kneeling, you name it. Um, yeah, just get into a position where you, that you can receive it. Today um, is the last official day of 2022. Uh, I know you may be like saying, wait, Shane, we have tomorrow, New Year's Eve. But I mean, day, last official day without a holiday. Tomorrow is a holiday, the eve before the new year, on the first. Um, today, there's no holiday. Today is just the 30th. Tomorrow is New Year's Eve. Then the next day is New Year's Day. So today, is, I just want to do things a little bit differently. We have done this before. So just I just want to bless you all. We're only going to read this passage one time. Then we'll talk about it, what it means. And then we'll close this video off and learn on the plans. Amen? Amen. Hebrews 12, verse 1 through 2, I mean 1 through 3. Um, if you want to follow along, you can. I, I Just do whatever you want to do, whatever the Holy Spirit calls you to do. Whether you just want to close your eyes and receive it, whether you want to follow along, I'm giving you the option today. Um, so let's pray. Let's, let's pray as we, be, before we begin. Father God, thank you for who you are. Thank you for your love that never fails, Lord. We speak to us in by your word. Chance from our hearts, God. Let it become more like you. And less like ourselves, God. We love you. Would you help us love you more? Amen. Praise God. For this, for this word. Let's, let's read it. Roman, uh, Hebrews 12, verse 1 through 3. says this. Therefore, since we have so great a cloud of witness surrounding us, let us also lay aside every encumbrance and the sin which so easily entangles us, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. Fixing our, verse 2, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy set before us, set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Verse 3. For consider him who has endured such hostility by sinners against himself, so that you will not grow weary and lose heart. Amen and amen. Praise God for this truth. Praise God for this hope. What's the, what does this whole passage mean? Verse 1 to say mean? It's giving us encouragement to keep running the race with endurance when things get hard. And you may be saying, a race? I'm talking the Christian race. Not a marathon, not a cross-country race. I'm talking about the Christian race. The Christian race is not easy. I will admit it. But it's worth it. God knows, knows that you will finish. God knows that you can make it. But at some time, sometimes you might want to give up in your faith. But you got to keep going. You know you can. God knows you can make it. God believes in you, but it's time that you believe in yourself. But sometimes we have things that hold us up, we, we get caught in, we are running this Christian life with a sin around us and that entangles us, or we are uh, focusing our eyes on the wrong place, we're not focusing our eyes on God always, and we need to keep our eyes on God always. We need to throw off any, anything that hinders us. God knows you'll make it. Sometimes we can become weary and tired because of things attached to us, like sin or our eyes in the wrong place. So what's the encouragement? What's my hope for you? My simple encouragement is to run this race, run the Christian life. Run, run this race, run the Christian life. 
with endurance and keeping your eyes on Jesus who endured the cross. And Jesus, the reason why Jesus was able to endure the cross is because his eyes were set on you. He had joy for you. His eyes were only fixed on you. And that caused him to have joy and caused him to be able to go to the cross. And he did because he loves you and he loves me and he has a plan for you. So his encouragement is this, to keep your eyes on Jesus and to stay focused on him as you run through this race called the Christian life. There won't be some hard times, but keep your eyes on him in the end. Amen? Amen. Praise God for this truth. Praise God for this hope. God is good. God is alive. And there's hope. Amen? Amen. If you never came to God before, or you want to come back to God right now, known as a prodigal son, then here is your opportunity right now by saying the simple prayer of faith from the silence of your own heart. Please do, please do what that's for me. Father God, I confess I'm a sinner. I confess my need for you. Would you please come into my life, Lord? I cannot do this life without you, Lord. You're the only hope I have, Lord. I repent of all my sins, and I turn to you, and I accept you as my Savior. Amen. Well, if you just prayed this prayer today for the first time with us, or we prayed this prayer in honor of the prodigal son, then I want to welcome you in the family of God, welcome you back in the family of God. The scripture says one one walks in the family of God, or one one walks back in heaven rejoices, and I rejoice along with you as well. And I've also been praying for this very moment because this is truly the most important decision that one can ever make with the life or that one has already made with life by placing their faith in Jesus Christ alone and accepting the free gift of salvation that he offers you. So I want, so I want to welcome you in the family of God. If you just made this decision today for the first time with us or we committed life to Christ today, I encourage you to reach out to me or to someone because we want to give you resources and next steps to take on this very important decision that you made today. We don't want to mock you at all. We don't want to press you. We just simply want to walk alongside you and let you know what's next. And this very important decision they made today. And also, we just want to be praying for you. Because we truly believe in the power of prayer. And prayer is the most important thing that we can do with our lives. So we want to be praying for you first and foremost. Well, friends, family, can I bless you all today? Before I send you all on your way into this last official day of 2022, before we enter the eve tomorrow, I am going to bless you all. Put your hands up to receive it. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you. And may I never forget to keep your eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith, who, for the joy set before him, endured the cross. Amen. Don't give up, friends. Don't give up. When it's difficult, don't give up. Amen. If you guys were encouraged by this video and you guys feel like someone else needs to be encouraged by this topic, would you please do me a favor? Click on that share button and share this hope with someone. Share this good, share this good news with someone. If you guys don't see any prayer for your life or hope, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. We'd love to pray for you. We'd love to just talk to you, answer any questions you have. And until next time, keep Christ number one and have a very blessed day. Peace. God bless you all.